Okay guys, back at it again today. Uh, making one of my favorite summertime dishes, stuffed bell peppers or puña de paprika. Um, I use a couple different colors of bell peppers. The yellow and the red uh, add a little bit of sweetness. Red is actually the sweetest. Um, and two different types of meat, pork and uh, ground pork and ground beef. You need that fat to, uh, to give you the flavor for, for the stuffed bell peppers. I also use Italian long grain rice and Italian long grain rice for whatever reason I found it is the best when I'm making any type of either stuffed cabbage sarma or a stuffed bell pepper something about that rice really uh, just it, it actually gives it better texture now I want to add a little bit of flavor to the rice, so I put in two tablespoons of vegeta because you want to build flavor throughout this dish. So if you put in a bunch of bland rice into the meat, you're going to have to over season the meat, overcompensate the seasoning in the meat. So you want to season the rice, boil it, and then add it to the meat. You want to season the meat, you want to season the sauce. So you're going to season this whole thing as you're going along. Now, I use two cups of rice to four pounds of meat. And um, the, the water ratio to rice is two cups of rice to four cups of water. And I boiled it and then essentially just let it cool for just a few seconds and then threw it into the meat. Now, we save the tops. We never throw anything away, right? So we're gonna save the tops of the peppers we're gonna saute those with an onion and that's what's gonna create the base of our sauce for the stuffed bell peppers. And we're gonna do this all out on the big green egg today to get a little bit of smoky flavor and a smoky component in there as well. So the other thing that I add to the, to the meat mixture is uh, garlic and lots and lots of garlic. So the meat is essentially a little bit of paprika for the, uh, for the color, uh, salt, pepper, and garlic. And this is the base of my sauce. So you can see it's just all my pepper tops and uh, one onion, and that's gonna get sauteed and then pureed. Um, basically, I'm, I'm pounding the garlic, peeling the skin off of it, and then I like to smash my garlic and mince it pretty fine for the most part. Uh, you don't want it to be chunky when you throw it into the, uh, into the meat mixture. And uh, the other thing with the rice going in, the rice is going to go in right, for the most part, hot. And I do that on purpose, actually, to that meat just came out of the refrigerator. It's ice cold. So when I throw the hot rice on top of it and mix it, it actually brings the meat up to room temp uh, relatively quick. So that's about three quarters of a head of garlic right there. And uh, now I'm gonna season it with some paprika, a little bit of salt, and then some fresh ground black pepper. And again, you wanna season the meat separate, you wanna season the rice separate, you wanna season your sauce separate. Uh, in the background there, I also uh, peeled a Yukon Gold, three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, and that's gonna be our uh, starch for this, uh, for this meal. So I'm adding the rice now, as you can see, it's hot. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit with the spoon, and then that's gonna bring my meat up to temp, so we're not, uh, it takes a long time to get the, the sauce to boil, uh, especially when you're doing it out on the big green egg. So you wanna make sure that you're not putting ice cold meat uh, into, the, into the bell pepper, and then trying to get that all to boil in a relatively short amount of time. So. Uh, I go ahead and mix it, loosely mix it. You just want it, you want it uh, mixed through. It doesn't have to be completely homogenous. Just you want it mixed so the seasonings aren't gonna be uh, piled up and the rice isn't gonna be piled up. And then you could go ahead and start stuffing your uh, bell peppers. Uh, really, the way I like to do it when I stuff it is you put the meat in and then take your finger and just push it down to the bottom uh, nothing worse than hitting an air pocket when you're uh, when you're having a bell pepper. So I use vegetable oil when I, oil when I work on the uh, big green egg because the temperatures are so high 
uh, that the um, olive oil smokes and it just creates a it, it just creates so much smoke and it stinks it's just not a pleasant smell vegetable oil has a much hotter um, uh, smoke point so I always use vegetable oil a little bit of gemish you know if you're throwing a barbecue you got to have a little gemish so I just saute the tops of the uh, peppers and the onion until they're softened up uh, and I'm using a cast iron skillet here, nothing special. Uh, I'm sorry, cast iron pot. And uh, saute that all the way through until it's nice and soft and a little bit of caramelization. And then I'm just going to add some chicken stock. Uh, usually I like to use a beef. Uh, there's a, a Korean grocery store down the street from our house and they have this really fantastic Korean beef bone stock. Oh man, it's so good. Um, but all I had in the house today was chicken stock. So here I'm taking the uh, the wand and I'm pureeing the uh, the sauce. And this is going to add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of complexity, and uh, just really ties the entire dish in together. When you're pouring that sauce over your potatoes and over the uh, stuffed bell pepper, man, it it really makes it fantastic. You could even throw in a little bit of tomato paste. Uh, I didn't today. Uh, I just used what I had on hand. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay the bell peppers in there. And you want them to be relatively tight. Uh, they don't have to be pressed in there really hard together because this is a pretty shallow pot. And you'll see when I put the lid on it, it actually kind of squashed the uh, peppers down a little bit. So I'm not too worried about pressing them in there too tight. They're not going to float. Uh, I just went ahead and topped up the... Uh, the sauce with a little bit more chicken stock and uh, and I want to go ahead and get this up to a boil and then I really I want to let it cook for about an hour hour and a half until it's cooked all the way through now at this point I'm gonna add some herbs it's been about 15 minutes I'm gonna add a little bit of bay leaves so I think I put about four or five bay leaves in there uh, a little bit of rosemary two, three small sprigs, and then a big long sprig of oregano, which I happen to have in the garden. And so I said, what the heck, let's throw it in there. And I'm warming up the uh, the skillet here for, uh, for the potatoes. So I'm just gonna top up with a little bit more chicken stock because the, the um, sauce had kind of dwindled down a little bit too much. You can see it's got a pretty good boil going. Uh, a little bit more vegetable oil. And now I'm going to add two uh, julienne onions to the to the skillet. Uh, also going to add a little bit of salt. Again, we're building some flavor right off the bat, and a little bit of pep paprika. Uh, this is a little bit of cornstarch. Uh, mix it with cold water and kind of throw it into the sauce. It'll thicken it a little bit. I could have done a, a roux, like a zaprashka with some flour and oil and, and paprika, but um, I just feel like that gets a little bit too greasy. So I just ended up going with a little bit of cornstarch and now I'm just kind of, I'm washing off the uh, cornstarch off the tops of the bell peppers and then putting a little sauce on top of the bell pepper to, uh, so the meat isn't going to dry out. Uh, at this point, uh, it's been about another 15 minutes, so total cook time was about two hours on the uh, bell peppers. I'm going to remove the bell peppers, and I'm just going to move the uh, onions over. And you want to sweat these onions nice and slow. Um, you don't want them to, to get too brown here. Um, that's three pounds of peeled and boiled uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. And they were in there for about 15 minutes just to get them up to uh, up to temp. And then I'm just squashing them down. I don't. Some people will do this with their hands. Some people will will uh, rice the potatoes. I like big chunks of potato and uh, in there. And I feel like it just has a, a nicer texture. This is definitely not a mashed potato uh, type dish. This has some texture to it and. Uh, it will have, you know, of course, when you smash a potato, you're gonna you're gonna have some soft uh, stuff in there as well. But I like big chunks of potato in there, and uh, so I let it sit for about another 10 minutes. You can see, kind of uh, uh, dried up the liquid a little bit. So put a little potatoes on the plate and uh, pull 
out one of the red bell peppers. And unfortunately at this point it's dark so the lighting is a little off but a little bit of sauce on top and man let me tell you that sauce is sweet and delicious and smoky and garlicky and oh, fantastic guys do not hesitate.